want you to be for Halloween. I want to be an Aki. <laughs> <laughs> everyone and welcome to my channel my name is Sharon St Rose and today I am back with another video so in today's video I'll be showing you what a turmeric face mask did to my face over a span of five days but first let me give you a quick background on my skin I suffer with hyperpigmentation and eczema and hyperpigmentation is something I've struggled with almost my whole life and it kind of goes hand in hand with my eczema so basically I could have a flare-up that lasts anywhere from two weeks all the way up to six months and once my skin is healed I'm left with really bad scarring in the form of hyperpigmentation Recently Recently I had a really bad flare up due to the medication I was taking and that really f***ed off because I hadn't had a flare up in almost a year. Just to give you a quick visual, this is what my skin looked like two weeks before I started taking the medication and here is what my skin looked like after. So because of the hyperpigmentation I decided to do something about it and the first thing that I could find on the internet was a turmeric face mask. Turmeric is very good at getting rid of hyperpigmentation, so I gave it a try. If you're interested in seeing what a turmeric face mask did to my face over the span of five days, then just keep on watching. Before I get into the video, I'd love it if you could show support to my channel by subscribing. I'm relatively new to YouTube and I have a lot of new and exciting videos planned, so make sure you click that bell notification so that you never miss another update. To make this turmeric face mask, all I used was two tablespoons of turmeric about one ounce of water and then I mix it together to make a smooth paste. I also use the old foundation brush for application. Now this is the first day of me doing the face mask and I didn't actually talk in the footage for the first two days and that's because I didn't think there will be much of a difference in my skin. I did however write a few notes and I'm just going to go through them with you. The first thing that I noticed about the face mask is that it smells quite strong but it wasn't unbearable or anything like that. The application was very smooth especially when using a foundation brush. The only thing I was really worried about is it may be staining my face yellow. Once I applied the face mask I did leave it on to dry for about 30 minutes. Once it dried, it did feel a little bit tight on my face. Then I washed off the mask with warm water. I did exfoliate as well. And then afterwards, I just moisturized my face with coconut oil. So this is day two of me doing the face mask and my face does look relatively the same. However, I can see some minor improvements on the side of my face. However, my forehead and around my mouth still looks the same. One thing that I have definitely noticed is that my skin does look a lot brighter. My skin also feels a lot softer to the touch and there's just like a general visual improvement. And again, I'm just using an old foundation brush to apply the face mask. I left it on for around 30 minutes and here is what it looked like when it was dry. When a face mask dries, it does feel a little bit tight and it doesn't smell as strong for when it's wet. Now here is where I see a big difference. My skin definitely looks a lot clearer from day one and my hyperpigmentation is healing pretty quickly. I also have a little bit of a pimple there and we'll see if it's going to disappear in a couple of days. And here is what my skin looks like without the ring light on. So hello everyone, this is day 3 of me doing the turmeric face mask on my face and I wanted to put a quick disclaimer, my nose is actually peeling and I don't want you to think it's because of the turmeric face mask, it's actually peeling because I suffer from eczema. Even though it's only day 3, I really feel a big difference in my skin. My skin feels a lot softer, plumper and looks a lot brighter as well. I think we can all agree that there's quite a bit of difference from day 1 when I first started to now. So as you can see, at the sides of my face where the hyperpigmentation was the worst, it's almost completely cleared up. Though I still do have a little bit on my forehead and on my chin as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the mask for the third time and see how it goes.
Okay, so this is what my face looks like after I've washed the face mask off. And you can see that my face is stained a little bit yellow. Other than that though, all I did was wash my face. I did exfoliate a little bit, that's why my skin is not flaky at the moment. But by this evening it will be back again anyway. Even though I do suffer from eczema, my skin is not sensitive. And I can withstand a lot of exfoliation because if I was to not exfoliate, I would have a lot of build up of dead skin on my face. I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my face with some coconut oil and I will be back tomorrow. Hello, so this is day four of me doing this face mask. And some things that I've noticed within my skin is that my skin feels a lot softer and a lot more plump. I've also managed to clear up some hyperpigmentations on the sides of my face, a little bit on my forehead and also a little bit on my chin as well. Tomorrow is my last day and I'm quite excited for that. I'm so tired of my nails being stained like this weird yellow colour. It's not really noticeable until you come up close to my nails and stare, but for me, I just personally don't like it. It's also quite tedious doing a face mask every day. I normally just exfoliate and wash my face as normal, but to sit there for about a half an hour with a face mask on your face every day for five days, it's getting on my nerves, basically. On the other hand, you can really see that it's healing my hyperpigmentation and I'm really grateful for that. Now I'm going to apply the mask. Okay, so this is what my face looks like after washing and it does look a lot more yellow than it did yesterday. Also, I feel like the ring light is actually making it a lot worse because I did go outside, I looked at my phone and I looked in the mirror as well and my face doesn't look that yellow as it is showing up on camera. I remember two days ago, I had a little pimple right here. It's completely gone now, you can't see it at all. So now I'm just gonna oil my face with coconut oil as always and I'll see you tomorrow. This is day five and I've already done my face mask earlier on today. But now it's time for me to give my opinion on this face mask. So I'll be going through some pros, some cons, and I'll also be answering the biggest question, did it actually work? One of the pros is that it was very inexpensive. I already had some at home, but it's also very inexpensive to buy at the supermarket. I'll leave a link down below where you can purchase some yourself. It was also extremely easy to make. All I mixed was turmeric and water until it became a smooth paste and I used a foundation brush to apply it to my face. If you wanted to try this face mask out yourself, I'll leave the measurements and everything down in the description box below. I will also leave the link to the turmeric powder that I used. Another pro is that it gave my skin this really natural, healthy looking glow. And I feel like the most important thing of all is that it's natural. Now I'm going to move on to some of the cons. Now the biggest con that I came across was that it kind of stains your nails and it can also leave a little bit of stain on your skin as well. This can be easily avoided by wearing gloves. I didn't because I didn't have any, but if you could just purchase them from your local beauty supply store. Now the big question, did it actually work? It definitely did work and I'm going to put a little bit of a before and after so you can see the difference for yourself. My skin definitely does have a healthy glow and it did clear up some of my hyperpigmentation even though some of it is still there. My hyperpigmentation has cleared up a considerable amount and I'm so happy about that. I know that I can definitely see a big difference but comment down below if you think it changed my skin or not. Also let me know if you know any natural remedies that could get rid of hyperpigmentation and I may try it in my next video. Even though I love sitting and talking with you guys I have to love you and leave you. If you haven't subscribed already now is the time to do so. If you liked the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and as always I'll see you in the next video. Bye!